The president, who arrived to deliver the State of Nation address a few hours late, blamed inflation for the increase in food prices, which he says are dictated by domestic, regional and international factors, including speculative tendencies. But the president says government has put in place short and long-term measures to curb inflation, including the provision of energy, road infrastructure and agriculture extension services. In production and food security, government will focus on increasing farm production and productivity through the use of fertilizer and improved planting seed varieties and animal breeds. What I want to promote is to see whether we cannot have four or five cows per homestead in Uganda, milk cows. If we can reach six, it would even be better. In the medium term, the president said government will support 100 households in every parish and has already brought it to the attention of the new ministers of finance and agriculture. He reiterated that in his new term, Uganda will start oil production, a move that is expected to bring an end to most of the country's persistent fuel shortages. By the end of this term, Uganda will be producing petroleum, and all this huge import bill will no longer be there. That will definitely help the Uganda shipping to be very strong. He, however, expressed concern on how NADS funds are being handled and promised to sort out the corruption problem and deal with those misusing NADS funds. But I hear that these NADS people have encroached on the NADS money to hire new coordinators. That I will not accept. Each sub county has got an agricultural person with a university degree, a veterinary person with a university degree or a diploma. They are all there. Why don't you use those? Why do you hire new ones? And you do it using United's money. Meanwhile, the other extension workers are being paid. This one I have already detected and we are going to sort it out. Michael Balike, NTV Tonight.